Well, last week, we told you about three McDonald's franchises in British Columbia accused of abusing Canada's temporary foreign worker program, hiring them instead of Canadians and even paying them more. Now it appears the problem is more widespread. Here's Kathy Tomlinson with Go Public. At this McDonald's, even managers are temporary foreign workers. Local staffers say the 90 workers brought in by the owner of eight locations get better shifts and higher pay. It's definitely a discrimination towards Canadians. Ex-manager Chris Eldridge did staff scheduling. He says he couldn't stand denying local part-timers hours they wanted. Federal rules say employers can't pay foreign workers more or take work away from Canadians. I was instructed to ensure, like, based on the foreign workers' contracts that they had signed, that they were to be guaranteed full-time hours, no questions asked. Staffers say the franchisee houses the newcomers in this building, known as the compound, and takes $400 a month rent from each worker's pay. He can have a foreign worker who he can send back home or threaten to send back home if they don't do their job correctly. They're, they're people that he can motivate by fear. The owner confirmed he does pay some locals less, but says full-time shifts are divvied up equally. Oh, it was reverse discrimination. Christina Morrow was a manager at this B.C. McDonald's until the franchisee brought in foreign workers and cut her pay, she says, from $18 an hour to 11 Pushed out. I think we've, we've all, those of us that have, you know, left for sure, I think we've all felt pushed out. Braden Chamberlain quit too because he says the Filipino workers got most of the shifts. My hours were cut almost immediately noticeable as soon as they were brought here. The franchise owner didn't respond to this. We heard many complaints about several other McDonald's outlets too in six provinces. The government more or less does not realize how much these corporations are taking advantage of a system. The federal government has now expanded its investigation to the multiple McDonald's locations owned by these B.C. and Alberta franchisees. As a result of our inquiries, Employment Minister Jason Kenney's office says he's now expressed serious concerns to McDonald's Canada about all of this. The corporation says it's reviewing its practices around temporary foreign workers nationwide. Kathy Tomlinson, CBC News, Vancouver. All of Kathy's stories come from you, our viewers. If you want to go public, you can get in touch through our website at cbcnews.ca slash gopublic.